I found the lowest rated horror game on the whole of Steam. That's right, I searched for horror, ordered it by rating, and scrolled all the way to the bottom of the list. Technically, there is one horror game lower than this, being Flat Out 3, as it is rated as a psychological horror as its first genre on Steam, but I'm pretty sure this is more because of the effect it had on its players, and less because that was the intention of it as a game, so I'm not counting it. So this is the worst rated horror game on Steam. Let's get into it, shall we? Special thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for supporting the channel and supporting my content. So uh, yeah, this is Malice, everybody. Already the UI, not the best. I mean, it's not the worst I've seen, but who? I don't know who's who. I think I'm red, funnily enough, and you're blue. That means you're the wumpf, I think. I'm fine with that. I've been mistaken for such before, so... Oh, by the way, guys, we're timing this, uh, <laughs> viewers, because we want refunds. <laughs> we, I'll be honest, we're cheap. <laughs> Okay, we're at an airport. That's an art style. Oh. A strange shrine. We fell in a hole. Oh. It's like that bit in Baldur's Gate 3. I was just think I was just thinking, oh, I could be playing Baldur's Gate right now. <laughs> oh, I think we're into the game now. Oh, we're in the game. Oh, the mouse sensitivity is high. Oh god. I cannot see. Hmm. Oh, I can see light. Control to crouch. That's always a good sign. Left click to interact. Oh, I've got a lantern. Okay. Oh, I really hate the motion blur that's on the mouse. Motion blur, <laughs> motion very, blur high. very high. Off. Screen resolution is... That is not my screen resolution. I think I can see you. I can see you. Oh, you can sprint. So, uh, viewers, this is apparently like a oh, horror... chat box. Oh, I guess because not everyone has mics. Yeah, so this is a like a horror escape room <laughs> type thing. Oh, I don't know what that was. I've got a sliding door that's locked. You might have to oh, unlock it. Letter from Hannah. I've got an old paper fan in my inventory. So, so far this doesn't seem like the ratings are justified, you know? Well, we're like five minutes into the game, mate. True. I found another fan and a tourist brochure. I have a tourist brochure as well. I've got four fans at this point. It's just like my YouTube career. Hey, General Natsuhi Natsuhisa, mm -hmm. you wanted me with this gift from of your son's shogi board. Still preparations that I have to make. I had a dream about your son last night. Oh. He was seated at the shogi board, but I could not see his face. The rook was protecting his silver general. Then he moves his rook. Capturing the enemy Silver General in the Demon Slayer opening gambit. Yo, that's a mid as hell anime. Um, <laughs> Don't, that's controversial. It is, but I will stand by that. A reckless trap move. This dream troubles me, General. Although why, I cannot say. I must warn you, General. I fear the villagers have gotten more inquisitive. Only yesterday, I found the footprints of what appears to be two teenagers outside my window. That might be us. Perhaps they are merely curious about the rumour I am that I am the former... Kurawa Geisha. Nevertheless, given the sensitive nature of our arrangement, I would ask that when you arrive, to knock on my door in the following sequence. Then I will know it is indeed you. Cherry Blossom Mask, worn to Mommy Mommy Jigari. Snow comes, then the sun. I enclose a gift to your wife, four paper fans to protect her from the summer heat during your journey to Kamakura. She will then see she will speak to her son soon general i remain your humble servant servant hannah so i have to knock on the door in a sequence by the sounds god this this was 100 percent the puzzle that someone said they got stuck on for hours immediately isn't it and i found four fans i'm guessing are the four seasons because they've got like a sunny one with birds a snowy one a like autumny one and the cherry blossom oh. one okay okay do do the fans have like the fans numbers have on? numbers on them? Yep. So try the one on the cherry blossom first. Cherry blossom is five. Yeah. So it it will be cherry blossom then whatever the autumn one is. Cherry then the blossom. snow then the sun. Cherry uh, five one then snow five one four one and I have to knock on the door in that Wait. order. Yes. 
Nothing happened. Can you knock somewhere? 5141? Mm, no, I, I, I've got what looked to just be like handle. Oh, wait. The things that appear to be handles are the knockers. <gasps> I'm in! Let's go! Oh, I heard a noise behind me. I heard footsteps. Don't like that. I'm closing the door. No, oh, don't no, whisper at me. I, no, I genuinely... Someone whispered Yokoso. Right, one fan, two fan, three fan, four fan. I found like a drum, a torch. Oh. Burnt wine gourd. A cube. A ragged painting of a woman pinning up her hair. Why is it all wibbly in front of the painting? There's another... Door! Ah! <laughs> oh. You scared me! You scared me! I was in a... <laughs> I was in a menu and I just heard the door open. There's also a thing here you can pick up by the yeah. looks. Some things. Fire! Oh. Can I light my torch? Oh, this is creepy out here. Is this yeah, where this you came, where from? came from? You had a creepier environment than I did. Oh, like a chest here that you put those dials in? I don't have a lantern anymore. What, what do you mean? My lantern's gone. Where did my lantern go? Oh, it's F. Okay. Oh, that means we're going to have to turn them off to hide, doesn't it? I have a sword. You have a sword? I feel like there's a very severe lack of direction. Like, it's not really told us what our purpose is. Is that squeaking you? Yeah. Okay. It sounded really close and I'm outside. Oh, I see the, the circles you form into these images, right? Yeah. I guess you've already put them in the right places. We've completed... How many escape rooms? Mm -hmm. Are these dice identical to each other? One of them's got a hole in it. They've both got holes in them. Looks like it's part of another mechanism. What mechanism could have dice in it? Lauren! What? The kettle was speaking to me. The kettle? Pick up the kettle and look at it in your inventory. What? <laughs> Are there more items that we can hear if we pick them up? What are we missing, George? There must be something really obvious we're missing. You found three of the four books. Three of the four books and two of the three discs. And you're sure the books couldn't go in the stove? Well, I, I was trying to eat them onto the stove there. Because there's I mean, this. It, there's also yeah, a stove this. here. Interacting with them on it doesn't do, do anything. You, wait, do you have the book? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say they disappeared from the fire. No, no, I picked them up. Oh! I just oh. left click the books on the fire. Oh, what? And three of them, they've turned into like characters that I can pick up. Burnt wood carvings. That motherfucker <laughs> said they were immune to fire. My guy. We've made a step forwards and we're still no closer to figuring out what it means. <laughs> can they go on these? Oh, oh I, I can like roll the you? scrolls up. Oh! Oh my the god! Dumbasses. <laughs> That's like just peak escape room right there. <laughs> uh I bet it's gonna have the last book in it. Wow, I can see you doing this in real time. Can you not your leg was right in the way? <laughs> hey, we got two more cubes and a book. Oh hi your bazaimas. <gasps> oh George. Oh no. Domo arigato gozaimasu. I, I don't have... I can't do anything with this by the looks, but there's a, a trap door with uh, yeah. a lock on it. Yeah, I've seen that. Do the cubes go in the lock? I'm like, surely not, because that... Oh, oh no, we might be doing something correct because it jump scared me. Oh, George, it, we are correct. I'm just going to close this door. Oh no! Oh, the characters! Do you want me there to just go. take all of them and try and figure it out? <laughs> yeah, have fun with that. Ooh. Close this door. I'm clipping through the trap door. <laughs> oh! Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I can't, like, see the characters I'm holding is the problem. Actually, yeah, can you stay nearby so that your lantern is genuinely okay. helping? <laughs> that one is, it's upside down, but there's that symbol is one of the ones I've got. I'll be honest, I got no clue what I'm doing. 
It's not that one. I was wrong. That's why. That one. Oh god, that made me jump that time. Oh god. George, do you wanna do you wanna have a go at this? No, but okay. So I'm guessing you have to find which ones are like the symbols on there. I've I'm certain I've lined up at least two of them going through them, but Oh god. You got it! You got it! You did it! Right, I'll go up. There's a futon. Uh, There's a futon. always something thumping up there, my guy. There's a futon that smells like cherry blossoms. There's a really creepy, like, doll with a cracked face. Oh, I hate dolls. I got a mysterious passage. Away from prying eyes, my secret lies. Hidden within her beauty, silence is her companion. Her name lifts her from below the pedestal, hidden among columns, then the rose, columns, then the rose. She is free of burdens, her passion fiery as a maple. I've picked her up, and a key I'm being whispered at. I got another one. Oh, they're holding things. One of them was holding an um, uh, umbrella. One of them was holding uh, a fan, I think. Also, I did not enjoy the... Japanese ASMR in my ear. Can I can I put the umbrella one down in front of it? Maybe I don't. I doubt it. But oh, they've got writing underneath. Oh, we've also oh. got a key. I'm gonna try that on the door. What the dolls have writing underneath? Or? Yeah. Okay, I've unlocked a door. Oh, this there's a, a painting of a woman fanning herself here. Did I miss a doll upstairs? I picked up one of the dolls. Oh. I found some old it. books that have a key in front of them and also Wait, a padlock. So this, did you open this door? Yes. Okay. I found a padlock that has more Japanese characters on them. I think they're numbers. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I haven't gone through the locked door really yet. Coming through. Hello. Hello. Oh. <gasps> Oh god, I don't know the oh, rules of this game, so but this is what this is what the letter's relevant to. I also got a burnt Ofuda. Oh, there was a letter next to the board as well. Yeah, Word of your power has spread among the Shogunate's court. You are described as both a person of great power and discernment. I therefore pen this for your eyes in the hopes that what we have heard is true. Distant though you are, you will undoubtedly have heard that we have taken Osaka Castle from the Toyo Toyotomi clan. My eldest son, beloved of his mother, was at the siege. He gave everything for the glory of Tokugawa, Tokugawa even, Shogunate, and covered this family in honour. I send this letter to you accompanied by his favourite shogi board. The sight of it fills his mother's heart with grief, but perhaps it may help shine a light to the dark path my son is on. Perhaps this is all for nothing. Nevertheless, I imagine that perhaps if my son's mother could hear her son's voice again, she might be able to find some measure of peace. Trust that I do not say this lightly. Our family would be indebted to you. Do inform us of when it would be suitable to call on you. Given my wife's state, haste is preferable. We trust in your discretion. Hmm. Oh god, there's more dolls in here. Oh, great. Another one with an umbrella and another one with a koto. And another one with nothing. A big pot. A large... Oh, and... Oh! <gasps> oh okay! <laughs> I, I, uh, there was something behind the door. There was something behind the door. There was something behind, someone what behind door? the door. What that, this that door? One. There was George. someone behind that door. Okay. I crouched behind here, this changing thing. I crouched down because there's a doll, went inside, and a monster zoomed out at me. <laughs> I also can't pick up this doll. So it literally didn't mean anything. There was, I believe, to be a young girl giggling behind that door. Oh, good. Oh, another note. A table of hiragana. Oh, this is going to be for the lock downstairs, but it's fine. That's that's fine. We can decipher that. We just need to actually find the numbers somewhere. Was that really the... That was the biggest jump scare of this whole thing so far, and it took us this long to get there. See, these dolls... Five, one each way. ...have writing on the bottom of them. What does that... Does that say Hannah, I think? I haven't seen any paintings five, of a woman with a koto eight. yet. Not a Koto, that's a Shamazen. Have I been saying Koto this whole time? If I have, yes. I apologize because if anyone knows the difference, they're yelling at me. Oh, that one says Mai or Mei. Mai. And this one, or I. Oh, that's probably the name of the fucking. There's probably like a bunch of young girl ghosts. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering if we okay. just try each one on an e each like painting and hope. This one. No, 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 no. They're still in the other upstairs area. There's still a padlock that has a combination lock on it as well. Because the combination lock clearly correlates to that that letter I found that had the hiragana on it, I think. I don't know what I did with that. This game isn't good. The jump scares have been a bit meh, and the puzzles are convoluted and make no sense. That you're just kind of doing things, right? Mm. However, I wouldn't say that this is worthy of being the worst game on Steam. We're missing a code somewhere. Unless it is the, no the characters on the bottom of the dolls, but there's too many. Because they don't correlate to a four combination lock. How long have we got? 20 minutes left to figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm, I've got a plan. It might take a while. I don't know if I'll get it done in, in 20 minutes. One, 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 one. One, 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 one two. two. Right, let's put this to one. I'm not doing that. That's It's going to take so way too long. I cannot. What's the relevance of the futon? Can I have a nap? What maniac would sleep this close next to a staircase? Do you have that letter that had the um, hiragana's? Yeah, that one. Do you want to write them down? Or do you want me to write them down as you go? So, A uh, is 9, 5. E is 8, 4. E uh, is 6, 2. R uh, is 4, 5. So, I'm wondering if we, like, add them all up at the end, if it will give us the number. Yeah. So, Ma, Ma. 2, 1. Ha, 4, 1. Na is 6, 1. F is... Six three. Uh, me is three two, and the other one was Nami. That should be six dolls. Right. Pull up a calculator, George. Okay. And add all of these together. My thought is you do it like six plus two, but you do all the red ones, and then that's like two digits, and then all the green ones, and that's. God, maybe. So we'll do the green ones first, I guess. Uh, I don't know which ones are which. I will tell you. I. My, that'll, yeah, Nami. So we got 56 of them. Then Hannah, Eddie, Fumi. That's 43. So, question is which one's first? 5643 well, or 4356? Well, try 5643 first. 5. I'll probably the other way around. Instead of. 6, 4, 3. Nothing. Nothing. Now 4356. 4, 3, 5, 6. Nothing. Nothing. Well, oh fuck. That, that was 10, 15 minutes wasted. I don't think we're solving this, George. <laughs> uh, no. It might have been just adding all of them together, but I didn't write down just the individual numbers. The thing is, adding them all together, I don't think we would have got a number big enough. No, I mean, if they were like, rather than 6 plus 2, if it was 62. Even then, I still don't think we'd have got a number big enough. Well, like, eight ninety five plus 84 plus uh 41 plus 61 plus 63 plus 32 i think we would you're not going to give us a four digit number i think unless so unless you count zero no be because that's, that's not how maths works Lawrence. So you, you'd, sure have is. Have, you'd have to have numbers that are bigger than 100 to be adding up nah if you're adding six numbers to get it together to get a number over a thousand <laughs> either way what we got didn't work <laughs> They all need to be at least like a hundred and something. Maybe we multiply the. <laughs> um... After this, you're gonna fucking surge up a playthrough and tell me what that fucking puzzle was. <laughs> I don't know if any playthroughs have gotten this far. <laughs> how much? How long have we got? Let me check my timer. Five minutes. Five minutes. Can I look up a walkthrough? Let me look up on my phone a malice walkthrough. <laughs> This is giving me PS2 controls. Okay, I don't think this is the right one. <laughs> nope, that's not the right. The, okay, it looks like there's a PS2 game called Malice, which is causing issues. No one has done a walkthrough for this game. <laughs> well. <laughs> with five minutes, four minutes to spare. <laughs> with, with four minutes to spare, I think we give up. You're oh. trapped in a trap door. God, I wonder if you... If you were down there in that room and you looked up, you'd have seen like a creepy face. Because there's a hole in the floor here. Can you see me? Yep. <laughs> Hello. Can you see me? Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe there would have been a face up there. Who knows? Like, so there's clearly something to do with the paintings we missed. There's something to do with those dolls that we missed. Like, I think those mm. dolls with those numbers do mean something, but yeah, what they mean and how we work that out, I've got absolutely no clue. This is a really nice area you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yours was much creepier. But also mine was much less interesting because I was just walking around in circles waiting. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> this was surprisingly not a very good game. Wow. Who could have guessed that the worst rated horror game on Steam? Not very good. Lawrence, can I can I be honest? What? I've been kind of enjoying it. Have you? <laughs> I think it's more... I think, honestly, it's less of a game and it's more just playing video game with friends is fun. True. I mean, we. I would love to, if we played like Phasmophobia or something, could be quite fun. Yeah. Or other like multiplayer horror games like that. I'm. I'm if this video does well, I might look into doing other like the worst game of X genre. There it is. Stop. Shut up. And there goes yours. So yeah, uh, let's quit, quit out of this game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just so that we don't run over and I'll do the outro. If you guys want to see me play other stupid, terrible games, let me know. Why would you? It wasn't good. Um, but uh, hey. Where's the refund button? <laughs> we'll do that in a sec. If you want to see me and George play any, any other multiplayer horror games, let me know. <laughs> I don't know what other multiplayer horror games there are, like Phasmophobia or something. Uh, um, stuff like Phasmophobia, I'd be fine to play. Actual scary stuff? No, that can fuck <laughs> off. I only I only agreed to play this one because of the gimmick of it being the worst the rated worst game. The worst rated, me. and it as, wasn't. It wasn't no, scary. And as I've said, I'm a <laughs> fucking pussy, so I'm also not great with horror games. You know, like like I think the last horror game we played together was Five Nights at Freddy's at the sleepover. I've never actually played. No, Have you yeah, not? Haven't because I've ne never played Five Nights at Freddy's. Were you not at that sleepover? <laughs> no. I've just implanted you in a memory. Man, that's sad. <laughs> I see how it is. Yeah, so anyway, leave a comment if there are any bad horror games that are multiplayer that you want to <laughs> see me and George play, or if you want to see me do other genres of, like, the worst VR game, or the worst shooter, or something, I don't know, let me know. Special thank you to all of my YouTube members and patrons that support the channel. It helps an incredibly large amount. So genuinely thank you to everybody that does. And if you want to be a patron or a YouTube member, links down in the description down below, or you can click on the join button on the channel. It helps a lot more than you might realize, but by no means should you feel like you have to. I'm going to keep making content regardless. Links to all of George's stuff will also be in the description down below. Yeah. So go check out George's stuff, whatever he's doing nowadays. <laughs> Other than that, thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.